What does being above average mean to you, Pancho? Uh, above average, I would say doing more than the norm. I would say thinking outside the box, uh, trying to be innovative, trying to be uh, as creative as you can be. You know, not thinking so much of uh, the surroundings, the environment. You know, just focusing on you. You know. Uh, Understanding who you are, believing in your dreams and falling through with it, you know, like, if you want to have it, like, if you want to create something, you want to do something, it's just about doing it, it's not about, like, following the footsteps of others, you know, um, that's one thing I always try not to do, I feel like once you start getting influenced by a lot of things around you, it becomes average, it becomes something somebody already done, it became it's not original, you know, it's a sense of like, you just creating it off the top, you it's know, the norm. you know, so I never really thought about myself as above the norm or normal. I just always thought myself as a fluent artist, uh, as a person that just do what he wants to do in a sense of, if I want to create a tattoo bus, I'll start it from scratch, you know, uh, even though there's no blueprint for it, you know, uh, if I want to open up a tattoo shop, I just open up the tattoo shop and do it my way, you know. So it's not really like a, uh, you know, I always was against the grain of just trying to follow the, what can you say, like the original, the, the original game plan of most people. The you wave. Know? Yeah. Never rode the wave. Nah, I never rode the wave. The thing is, now it's like trying to be creative to the sense of like being original and trying to be more innovative or in the sense of being above average. It's trying to create the wave yourself, you know what I mean? So now it's like understanding the way, understanding the way people think, the way people um, respond. So now when I create, I have to think in the minds of others in a sense too, you know? So right now I feel confident on the things I do. Um, I still feel grounded. I never will say that I'm better than anything or nobody. I just feel like I'm just opening up doors, you know? I feel like the doors that need to be open for people to actually create in their own way, you know? Like, yeah. Uh, for them to see and motivate themselves to actually do what they really want to do. Because each and everybody, I think everybody's original in a sense. It's just trying to get them out the normal way, you know? Like, having people think for them versus now you're like thinking for other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. the thinker. I'm trying to be. It's, it's difficult though because in a sense of like, it's a, it's a responsibility. Yeah. You know, it's a responsibility that you either gonna take or you just gonna just, you know, just, I'm in a crossroads right now, you know? like It's dope that you realize that now you do have a responsibility to, you know, people. People are watching you. Yeah, for sure. Like, because I think that's what happens to a lot of people that either blow up overnight or that's uh, just getting it really fast. You know, I mean, like, People get a lot of success and their dreams do come kind of fast in the sense of like in a one year span, they achieve a lot of things that they are just putting their mindset to. But uh, I feel like the real quest is actually understanding it and actually taking the steps beyond that, you know, like taking 10 steps ahead. Like for me, for example, I'm trying to understand time in the sense of like, I know I don't have a lot of time, so let me make the best of it, out of it. Let me organize my situation. Let me organize my years and actually achieve it, you know? So, I don't know. It's an open thought. I like thinking like that. It just keeps you, like, on your feet, you know? Yeah, you're talking about being innovative. We're here in the first tattoo bus. So I think you're doing a pretty good job right now, man. Well, it's crazy because I thought about this before I even opened up my tattoo shop. So it's been... a Probably like a five, six year idea that I had in my mind, but it's just, it wasn't the timing, you know? So it's always timing in certain situations. So uh, I came across a bus, I'm like, shit. I know exactly what I want to do with it. I already know the game plan of what I want to do. And it just happened, you know? So I just created it, and now it's here. Now it's, now it's just it's figuring out the next steps, you know? So it's crazy. I never really thought about it. Hey man, you, you're it. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. You're it. <laughs> Appreciate yeah, it, Poncho. Yeah, sure, look, sure. look, look at this man remaining humble. It still has this, uh, looks a little tattered. Yeah. Little tattered iPhone right yeah. here. 
<laughs> still works, right? Still, still Why would I throw works? it in the trash, right? <laughs> I don't need no it's, new one. It's the definition of staying yeah. humble, man. And and this man is he's one of the people who opened the doors for the meme. He gave the meme like our first shot, so we're always mad appreciative of you, man. Always all love.